Hello everybody, welcome back to 7 Days to Die. We are in Darkness Falls mod and we are kind of doing a Liz Labs uh, in these two episodes. Hopefully I can get it done in this episode because I really need to focus on the horde base to get it ready for the next horde. But, um, I'm running into a couple of issues back here. I've just been sitting here watching it and it is just steady getting crazy back here. Um, I might have overthought how many buckets I needed. Look at the, the reservoir, it's actually quite full. So I could probably take a few of them out, but some of that is because right now it's not actually hitting very many crops at all. Uh, I think a way I can solve this is to go get some seeds and plant them here in the back to, you know, force it to water those plants. At least that will help, because <laughs> it's taking me a little while to manufacture the irrigation pipes, and this is just the beginning part of the irrigation pipes. Uh, potatoes? Yes. This? Yeah, sure. Um, I don't have a whole lot of use for pumpkins, so I think I'll stick with these. Uh, are any more of my pipes ready? I've got one more of those. Okay, uh, the problem is, is I think this one... Yeah, because it's not going to be linking up to three. I have to cap one side of it, I think. I don't know if it'll actually push out a thing of water if I don't cap it. I have no idea. If the cap even is considered a piece of that, I don't know. Uh, let's put a couple of potatoes down here. Uh, some of this. Some of that. Okay, hopefully that will pull off some of the water that is just kind of wreaking havoc inside my stuff here. I could do it this way, but I need it to go this way because I'm going to go off that direction. Uh, that's fine. I'll need the caps for the ends, and this one, and that one, and at least the beginning part of it should be fine. Uh, it's getting the rest of it done. Uh, is going to be a pain. So I'm going to have to lay it in here. Oh boy. Uh, that's the reason why I made these, is so that I don't have to fill this in with regular blocks. I can just fix it like this. Okay, we'll carry that along that side. We will carry this. See, I don't want to take out my plants. So I'm going to have to go deeper on this side. Uh, this one is actually not going to work, because I need one to go along the center, too. Uh, there's not a four-way, is there? There's not a four-way, so I'm not going to be able to do a center pipe, but those two end pipes will probably work. Um... Oh, well, well... I mean, technically, they're within one, two, three... Yeah, they'll be within four of another one. So that should carry the water to where it needs to go, even without the center one. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's fine. That go this way. And then the end over here, I'll have to do the same thing. I have to go... Thankfully, the ends, I can just kind of not dig down too far. can't dig in there too much, but uh, that's some of it. Are you pulling? Oh my gosh. No! <laughs> it's coming out the back! Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> aggressive measures. Stop that. <laughs> okay. Uh, flow up. Oh my gosh. You took out my stairs! Get, let, me, let me up before I die. Uh... Okay, aggressive measures. I've got too many buckets. Okay, I I've just got to get the piping in here so it'll start pulling some of that out. Oh my gosh, I should have made the pipes first. I should have made the pipes first. I did not realize it was going to produce that much that fast. Okay, well, Liz Labs is all about figuring that stuff out. Uh, i got three more connectors. Uh, I've got two enders coming up. 
Okay, let me put my connectors in so it'll pull off that way. It's like a race against time now, hoping it's not going to tear down my entire reservoir trying to do this. Um... I'm gonna go off that direction, and I actually need one more straight piece here, and off in that direction. I'll probably have to put the caps on it just to be on the safe side, but hopefully that will work. Oh my gosh. Um, also, there's, there's this little thing right here that's kind of irritating me. Okay, you're gonna have to exit over here. Not that one. So, you have been isolated to another section of the garden. You are not allowed. Okay. Please, 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 please. Okay, I've got my caps. Well, I've got one cap. I need more. Uh, I need more straight pieces. How are we doing? Okay, that's, that's a pretty good bit. Uh, irrigation pipe straight. I can get seven more out of that. Okay. Uh... Really needed to hurry. I wonder if this is gonna be enough iron. Um, go ahead and make the rest of it. I mean, I did go mining, so I do have some. There's my other cap. <laughs> I am racing against time, hoping it does not completely tear up all of my stuff. Okay, so I need the cap right here. Um, can I get you to go on face and go... No, no, no! Stop sliding in the hole. Go right there. Okay. And on this side... Right there. I still need a long piece to go in there. And then cap you right there. Okay, uh, those two sides are done. Let me fill in the top part. Like that. Um, all of this is going to have to get filled in over the top of it. I won't be able to see it on a regular basis, but it'll be there. I just don't want the zombies playing around with it and wrecking my irrigation system, so I'm going to cover it with uh, soul. Oh, please. Those straight pieces are exactly what I need. I've got... Oh man, I feel like I need another one of those. They take a long time. Uh, while I'm waiting on those things to produce, and since I don't want to sit here and stare at that thing steadily wrecking my stuff, I'm gonna come over here for a second. Now, I was told that these right here, you can flip them over and if they walk on the bottom side of it, they will still get injured. So if that's the case, uh, first off, um, let me get some rebar frame to fill those things in. And let's run a quick experiment before I put them in the base. And just make sure that's how they actually operate, because I don't want to make a mistake filling the bottom part of the base with them, and then they don't do that. Uh, building, rebar frame, these stuff, because I need to fix all of the things that I've messed up. Uh, let me run over there, put this thing in there, so it'll pull off more of the water. Uh, that side's done. It's this side that needs it. No. This. Okay, that'll pull off more of the water, hopefully. Oh my gosh. You're flowing over the side. Stop. <laughs> okay, so this was an idea, and apparently, if you really want to make a continuous water. Oh my gosh, you've wrecked that one too. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to put the rain barrels in there, but I think I need to put them further away from each other, and probably not as many. But I won't know that until the rest of the irrigation system is in, because. It's not pulling the water out just yet. Uh, and then these. Uh, let's do a quick experiment. We can do it down here. That way I'm not wasting it. Um, okay, let's just dig one there. And no, why do I keep doing that? 
uh, advanced. Like that. Yeah, okay, you do get hurt. Okay. Alright, so if I do that, I could take my ditch in there, down by one, and tuck them into the ground so if I fall in there, I can run back out. I don't kind of get stuck in there or whatever. But it will also make this down here look a little bit better. And maybe I could put some barbed wire over the top of them to hold them on there longer. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. That's a possibility of a way I could do it. I, d I don't know yet. But... Ow. I am on the barbed wire. That's good. Ow! Yeah, I need to get it off the walls. It's actually hurting me. I'm trying to come in here and fix stuff and it's hurting me. Out of curiosity, is there a way of skipping steps? Can I go straight for a higher tier one of those if I do these things in a workbench? <clears throat> if I'm going to revise the bottom part, let me go find out. Because sometimes you can, like the bars, you can make them inside the forge and stuff like that. Can I do them like that? It, can I make them iron or maybe even uh, steel or something and skip a step? Ah, uh, forge. I don't see him in there. Log spites, fuel log? What is a fuel log? Bull of sap. Made from sap and wood burns longer than coal or wood. Huh. Okay. Oh, steel. And it takes ten. Upgradable. So I can upgrade them past steel. But if I place them wrong, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get them back out, so I have to be very, very careful. And it takes 20? Uh, where is my steel? Okay, I don't make them here. Do I make them here? Oh no, I make them here. I need this batch, though. Oh, okay. Uh, the irrigation comes first because I'm currently breaking my stuff right now. So let me run over here, put these in. I don't know exactly how many more I need. Um, okay, this whole section is filled in. Oh, are you on the right level? Yeah, you are. Okay. Um, I still have to get into those. I'm sad that this one doesn't have like a four-way. It would have been nice to have been able to take it to the center of the stuff, but I guess I could do it that way. Or I could spread these guys out. It's two in between, two in between. I can make it three in between. Is that necessary? So I would just move it to this one. You know what? I could probably do that. Oh, these got high health, and I'm wasting materials. Okay, so I need another T, another two T junctions. Wow. Um, this is this is really getting crazy. I didn't realize they were going to produce this much. Uh. I wish, wish there was a way I could figure out how to stop it when it's produced enough. Mm, I don't know. I need another two T-junctions, though. Uh, T-joint. Make two of those? Take those two. I, I've got to finish the irrigation system first. That's, that's one thing that I said I was going to do this week. 
Because one thing that's slowing me down from actually progressing in the game is always worrying about food. Uh, and it usually does. It's, it's usually one of my slow down factors, because until food is done, I don't go and explore very often. And that is definitely something I need to do. Okay, but this is not actually... Daggummit. It, it's not actually pulling water out because it's not connected in there anymore. Daggummit. And it can only produce so fast. Just spending a lot of time at the base. Uh, you're gonna take a while. Um, I actually need those two T junctions, and then I need more irrigation pipes. It sucks that I have to keep stopping it because it's restarting the crafting, but if I don't reconnect it, I'm not pulling anything out again. Should I just break my rain catchers until I get the irrigation in? Because, oh my gosh. Uh... I could technically make another metal workstation. I could. But I feel like this is like one of those special times where I'm going to need it. What I could do is, while I'm waiting on all of this stuff to make, is I could go break some stuff down at the horde base so I can get it adjusted. Um, I got... Yeah, this thing takes forever. Um, okay, how long are you actually going to take to produce with that? 600... 3... Okay, well, that's good. Okay. Uh, it, it just takes forever to produce that stuff. I just want it to keep going. Okay, there's one of my T-junctions. Give me... Give me the other two so I can start pulling some of that water off before it erupts out the back. Oh no. It's already doing it. <laughs> Please hurry. <laughs> Please. I made mistakes. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I, I shouldn't have done that. I broke it out and I was expanding that particular section. I should have expanded the other section that wasn't growing anything. Ugh. Please hurry. I'm gonna have to go bust the rain barrels. It's just too much. It's just too much water over there. Well, I can make some more. It's not that big a deal. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. You've got to stop. You've got to stop. Stop! <laughs> Please! Just stop. Just stop. Okay, I will put those back in later. Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's a thing. I, I thought I was going to need a lot of them because they don't, you know, produce water that much, but apparently I was wrong. Um, I probably won't be wrong after the irrigation system is actually in, but I can't have it flowing all over the place. Okay, now I can fix part of the T-junction. Actually, I need the other one in there, but uh, let me put these in. Hmm... Okay, every three, so the T-junction will actually go here. Ah! No, no, don't fall in. We'll actually go here. And then I'll move it along that side, and that will be a straight bit right there. Okay. Oh, jeez. Don't do that. Good lord. Um... I'm gonna wreck my plants doing that. Seriously? I wasn't aiming for that at all! Don't do that! Uh, I am I am caught up in here somehow or another. Okay. No, dadgum it! No, 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 no. That's uh, freaking mouse, man! Oh, that was a waste. 
That was such a waste. Okay, this is the area I need right here. I think I just took the water out of my garden with this. Okay, that's pretty close. I need to dig down where they are on the other side. That's not right right there. Okay, let me out. Huh! Okay. Um Okay, I didn't yank the water out. That's fine. Alright, uh right here. Okay, and right. Well, this one hasn't been swat because I made a mistake, so. One, two, three. Should actually be one, two, three. It should actually be this one. Okay, that's fixed. Now let's find the proper spot. This way. Okay. Alright, now I know how many I need. Well, I don't know how many I need, but I know where they're going to end up at. I'll just have to fill in the soil as I put stuff in, but I need another... <sighs> I need another tea joint. I've actually made four. I did not mean to make those. Um. So, craft straight ones... Uh, craft some more straight ones. All right, but at least I'll be able to fix these. It's not what I meant to do, but I have to tear out the other one. that one in. There we go. Now then, I just need to get a couple of straight ones so that I can fix all of these. And I don't have this one done either because uh, those I'm afraid they're gonna collapse my little walkway. I can connect one of the sections I unhooked a little while ago. So hopefully it'll pull some of the water out of my a big mess back there. Like that, and I connect the other side. And then I can breathe a little bit easier. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. I need to go break down some stuff over there. It's gonna take a little while to build those. And since I'm not racing against the freaking rain barrels anymore, I can go do that. Okay, so what I need to do is yank all these things down and dig down by one. I don't think so, lady. I don't think so. I've had enough of your shenanigans for one week. I was just minding my own business. Oh my gosh, uh, there are still briars over here? I mean, not briars. I keep calling them briars. Barbed wires. There we go. Just minding my own business, zoning out, hitting on some wood. Not, not metal. Whatever. I was doing the thing where I needed to take all these things out. Seriously? Another one? No, ma'am. I'm apparently making quite a bit of noise doing this. Ow! Ow, ow, ow. No, oh, it's just you. Okay. Thought you were another screamer, sir. I'm kind of done with dealing with th those guys. I just want to fix up my base. If you don't- oh jeez, I did not mean to do that. 
I mean, not that I don't want to upgrade to steel, that would be awesome, but I need to get this base part done first. Okay, that part's done. Now I need to figure out exactly where I'm actually going to put my spikes at, like right here, here. Do like a 4x4 four four there. Because steel is it's going to take a lot to do these sections, so I don't want to waste resources on making just random ones. Oops. Uh, that. Oh no, not another one. You are trying so hard to get me with that again, aren't you? How's about we nah? You know? How about them apples? How about we don't? Okay, what I'd like to do is try and... Fill that stuff in with flagstone. Flagstone will not last very long. But it's a good upgrade item from it. And it's pretty cheap to make. And it's a little bit stronger than wood. Because the ground, I'm not really that concerned with them blowing it up. I mean, I will eventually upgrade it, but... I don't have to. Flagstone blocks. Uh, can you make, like... I don't know. Um... 500 of them. Just craft on that. Let's see how far you've gotten in these. Okay. Let's go put these guys in. Um, yeah, I'm basically going to be working around the base trying to get everything situated for me to actually go on proper missions. Which is actually a very fun and exciting idea. Uh, you aren't completely dug out. Um... I think the better way to do this is from the center ones to run it back through and then fill it in. Like right here and then do that. Here, let me turn that on. sure they're facing the right way before I lay them down. Okay, that one is getting there. Okay, uh, I need to get some more producing. I I've got to get the irrigation done as quickly as possible, otherwise the steel things will probably not have a chance to finish. So, can I have some more of this? Um, can I get you to make all of those? Alright, while you're doing that, I'm going to take these and start working on the floor of the horde base again. Liz Lab's kind of mixed in with base building kind of situation, I guess. Thankfully, I think I'm done having to knock everything out, so I don't think I should have to worry about any more screamers just roaming into my base. I don't know. Okay, the spikes are going to sit flush on that floor, so what I'm going to do... I'm going to dig out around where the spikes are going to go. Uh, no, no, why would you do that? Just being a pain in my behind. Don't do that. Okay, spikes are going to go there. Okay, uh, I probably could go ahead and fill this in, make it look nice. You know, just for reasons. There we go. Spikes sit there. Do I worry about that? I'm not, I know that the zombies don't do as much damage to clay as they do to everything else. But is that the same for stone? Or do I have to worry about them getting stuck in here if they damage it? Can I reach past the spikes and fix the floor? I don't know. Um, just because it will look better either way. There. Uh, 
that's that's probably good right there. And then let's do the same thing here. I hear a zombie. I knew it. Sir, I'm working on stuff. Go away. Leave me alone. You and all your buddies. Okay, Turkey. We're gonna do the same thing over here. There we go. Uh, basically, I'm just gonna put four on all of those and then put the barbed wire over the top of them. And then probably do that to like the center area right here, but leave the rest open, even the drops. So they get injured trying to get out. Again? Oh, Marilyn, how you doing? Are there still- there's still barbed wire here. My bad. No, no, big mama. Woman. I really do have better things to be doing. I promise you. Hi, sir. How are you? Thank you. Appreciate you delivering that post-apocalyptic loot delivery since I can't go out and look for it. I can't say I'm disappointed. There we go. Okay. Okay, two more pits done. I can get these two, and then that part's done. I still need to fill in the other parts of the floor, but I mean, I don't have to right this second. Tobias Johan Carlson has subscribed. Thank you so much for subscribing. I love getting those notifications while I'm recording because it, it just reminds me of why I'm doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? And then Hagaballs? Awesome. <laughs> I love the name. That's great. <laughs> um, it, it just kind of, it's motivation while I'm doing this, even though right now I'm not technically doing a whole heck of a lot of stuff. But this part is important too. I might be turning the horde off, but we are definitely coming back to do more hordes after we get some of the main mission stuff done. And therefore, this stuff is very, very important. We're going to continue to do upgrades and plan for a bigger horde than whatever is going to get thrown at us this time. Is there somebody out there calling in a horde? Because I kind of feel like something just spawned in. Okay. Is that the complete inside of this thing? No. Not even close. I never even got to these areas. Okie dokie. So... I need more concrete because I'm going to take all of the pillars down one more. And that's going to be redoing the entire center section. But these right here, this one is going to have to be filled in as I get done with the inside of the building. Uh, let's go see how much more we can throw into the irrigation system before the night ends. I need to get some more food going, but first things first, we've got a lot of these that need to be laid down. Okay, why- seriously, why am I getting so much lag in the evening time? This is not okay. Okay, this is the one I was working on. Okay, there's a bit more of it. It's not a whole heck of a lot, but it's something. Is it pulling some of the water out of here yet? I kind of feel like it's not. So, 
I'm not sure if the irrigation system is actually working just yet, but this near about hole pipe right here is running. Um, I could probably take these barrels out. Because if I don't, and that is actually working, it'll probably overflow. But I guess I'll wait until in the morning to do that. Uh, it has been fun doing these things because, you know, I kind of miss doing Liz Labs. I just don't have a whole heck of a lot of time for it. But at the same time, has been fun. Okay, do we have any more forged steel? Uh, I got 20 going there. Forged iron, my bad. Uh, keep going with it. I I'm probably gonna need a lot more than this. And go ahead and make eight more straight pipes. Uh, it does seem like it's very cost expensive on the whole thing and time expensive. So I'm not sure if this is worth it or if just doing the barrels would probably have been a better idea. I just want to see if I can do it. So anyway. I think that's it. I'm just going to keep waiting for these things to manufacture and putting them in as they come up and digging what I need to overnight. Hopefully, by the time the night ends, I'll have most of the irrigation system in and we can push for the horde base getting done. Because, like I said, I'm going to do the next horde. I'm going to make sure the base actually runs proper. And then we're going to turn off hordes until the end of the missions for the storyline. I know some people are not going to agree with that, but that's what I plan on doing because... I want to do the storyline. That's the whole point in doing the mod. Uh, so I understand uh, if you don't agree, but that's the way I opt to play the game. Uh, what we'll probably do is, if my computer can handle it, I'll increase zombie, uh, in-game zombies. I'll have to adjust the settings. The graphics might go down a little bit to compensate for the amount of lag that the zombies spawning in causes, but I think it'll be a whole lot more fun having zombies all over the place rather than a whole bunch of hordes. That's too much regular seven days to die. I want the mission. I want a zombie world we're living in. I will see you in the next episode. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful night. You stay shiny. Bye!